Deirdre Bose is sitting down in a CNBC exclusive with WeWork, or should I say the We Company, co-founder and CEO Adam Newman, as well as strategic partner, who else, but actor Ashton Kutcher. She joins us now from LA with the highlights. Hey, Deirdre. Hey, Morgan. Now, we rarely hear from Newman or Kutcher. And remember that Kutcher is an investor in some of the oldest and biggest unicorns, Airbnb and Uber. So we really wanted to get their thoughts on companies staying private for longer or taking a company public in this environment. The young CEOs of today are afraid of going public. I think two things change. One, there's never been access to private capital like this. So I'm not sure if we would see some of the largest companies in the world today. If they were starting today, I'm not sure you would see them going public as soon as they did. They had no other choice. Most companies in the world run their company with earning, quarterly earning reports. And when I'm going to make a decision, this is true about life and true about a business. When I'm going to make a decision based on three months forward, I'm not going to make the right decision. Masa is very famous for making a 300-year plan. If you want to start thinking forward, you really have to think really far away. Now, Newman said that when his company, now called the We Company, does go public eventually, and he says that they are ready, he's going to be looking to public company CEOs like Jeff Bezos and Mark Benioff, who, despite the quarterly grind, um, are able to retain and continue to focus on their long-term vision. Now, another investor focused on the long-term is SoftBank's Masasan. We asked Ashton Kutcher how Masa's strategy has changed the outlook for VC funding as well as for startups. Have a listen. The minute that you start having to report publicly, you have to start playing games with your numbers, you have to start playing games with your growth, and, you, and usually the person that loses in that situation is the consumer. So if we're trying to ex create extraordinary experiences for consumers over time, the longer those companies can stay private, and by Masa coming in and enabling that, th the more unbelievable the experience and more life-changing the experience will be for people. Now, I'm, I, I'm also on the other side of the table with Moss on a couple deals. Okay, and, yeah. And, and that's frustrating that's as hell. That must be a very frustrating But, uh, but what am I going to do, get upset at the game? Like, no, I've just got to figure out how to, how to out-hustle and win. Now, Kutcher is not an investor. He's a strategic partner for WeWork. But he said that he wasn't afraid of getting in at the current valuations, the highest one, the bumped up to $47 billion. He said he didn't understand the business for a long time, but now he sees it as a tech company. Guys? Deirdre, in terms of understanding that business, they've been burning through a lot of cash, right? Any sort of commentary on when they would expect to start making a profit? Well, after their latest investment, they have more than $6 billion in cash that they're able to use to expand. And remember, they just had this rebranding exercise, which is more marketing at this point. Um, but this company is not slowing down. It's continuing to grow, but it's continuing to notch heavy losses for the first half of the year. There are more than $700 million in net loss. Uh, we'll see what happens by the end of 2018. But um, I don't think they're cutting back. And Newman himself told us that he's not cutting back on t costs, even if we were to see a downturn uh, and the company could get squeezed in that environment. And Deirdre, you talk about games, or Ashton Kutcher was. I mean, I, I don't know if this came up in your conversation with Newman, but they're taking in new money at one valuation higher, and then they're allowing older shareholders to sell at a different valuation far lower. I, I can't quite figure yeah. out where it all ends up or how you actually value the company. <laughs> Right. Well, people I talk to say that you end up with a blended valuation. So there were two tranches. They sold some shares at a valuation, of, or SoftBank bought some shares at a valuation of $47 billion. They bought secondary shares at a valuation of $20 billion, which lets the company um, return money to some of their investors. Remember, this company is nine years old. And Kutcher said he'd be willing to invest at that $47 billion valuation. But it is confusing. But this is something we're seeing, David, from SoftBank. They cut these deals. We saw it with Uber. There was a higher valuation and a lower valuation. It lets the company sort of tout this higher valuation.